Why is the crypto market continuing to dump? Solana Trump memes are seeing a lot of action after a post last night, and are altcoins going to see another major drop this month? And if so, which ones? This is your Altcoin Buzz News. Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is Cody, and if you're new here, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't drop the latest content. Follow us on Twitter, Alcumbuzz.io, and as always, it's not financial advice, and we wish you the best of luck in your crypto ventures. Today's YouTube news is sponsored by Morpheus Labs. Morpheus Labs offers multi-chain, low-code solutions for Web2 firms to enter Web3 markets. They provide you with a smooth and efficient way to get your Web3 presence. This comes with a full suite of tools that offer blockchain as a service, ready to use and easy to deploy. Web2 firms can now easily transition from the ground up into a fully functioning Web3 project, including Morpheus AI-powered automation and smart contracts. The best place to buy their mine token is on KuCoin or Mexi, and for more information, just follow their Twitter with a link down below. The cryptocurrency market took a hit today, with the total market cap dropping by over 4.5% to about $2.5 trillion on June 18th. This plunge has left many investors scratching their heads, trying to understand the core catalyst behind the downturn and whether recovery is on the horizon. Today's crypto market decline is part of a correction that started over the weekend when Minneapolis Federal Reserve Chief Neil Kashkari made a reasonable prediction about only one rate cut in 2024. Bank of America predicts that the Fed will cut rates once this year, but that they'll wait until December to do it. What do you think of that prediction? You know, I think that's a reasonable prediction. If you look at the what we call the summary of economic projections that my colleagues and I all put out this past week, the, the median forecast was for one cut this year. It's really going to depend on the data. And we're in a very good position right now to take our time, get more inflation data, get more data on the economy, on the labor market before we have to make any decisions. So we're in a strong position. But if you just said there's going to be one cut, which is what the median indicated, that would likely be toward the end of the year. His comments contrasted bond traders' expectations of at least two interest rate cuts in 2024 in September and November. For instance, the target rate probabilities for the September rate cut have fallen to 55% on June 18th from 66% over the weekend. Today's crypto market decline further takes cues from a de-risking strategy undertaken by the Bitcoin ETFs. Notably, the US-based spot Bitcoin ETFs witnessed a 3.65% drop to around $15.1 billion in its holdings in the weekend ending in June 14th. The outflows trend continued this week, with investment vehicles witnessing $145 million worth of withdrawals on June 17th, bringing the net ETF reserves down to under $15 billion. The crypto market declines have accelerated further due to long liquidations overpowering the short ones in the last 24 hours. Data from Coinglass shows that long traders, those betting on crypto market upside, have witnessed over $400 million worth of liquidations in the last 24 hours. A large meme coin whale has made $3.7 million after selling their MAGA or Trump tokens amid the current market sell-off. The whale has sold over 171,000 Trump tokens for 414 Ether, worth $1.44 million in the past 24 hours, for a total profit on their investment of over $3.7 million. Trump-related cryptocurrency started falling amid rumors that Donald Trump's team launched an official token on Solana. Pirate Wires claimed in a June 17th ex-post that Trump's 18-year-old son, Barron, was spearheading the token under the name Trump Coin or DJT. However, Trump's team hasn't confirmed the token launch, and blockchain data firms such as Bubble Maps seem confident that DJT isn't linked to the presidential candidate. The Pirate Wire's editor in chief, Mike Solana, clarified that he didn't speak with Trump directly and that he was just reporting what I know via sources. X Ray's wallet has just announced they received an initial 1.6 million ZK token allocation as a native smart wallet. They said this will empower us to further develop our smart wallet, onboard and reward our community, and deliver top notch user experiences for the entire ecosystem. Huge thanks to the ZK Sync team for their support and trust. The X Ray's wallet is a smart contract wallet designed for Web3 gaming. X-Ray simply seeks to improve crypto payment processes for gamers and businesses alike. X-Ray's isn't only for crypto savvy users, the wallet's design accommodates all user levels. How does this work? Well, X-Ray's is built on ZK Sync account abstraction. It uses account abstraction features like transaction batching, session keys, paymasters, social recovery, and subscriptions to improve user experience. Gamers, for example, would find this wallet pretty helpful and smooth as they can create wallets and sign in directly from a game website in less than 10 seconds. Check out the X-Ray's wallet with the link down below. It seems there could still be continued downside for altcoins, as over 40 crypto protocols are collectively unlocking over $740 million worth of tokens in the next 30 days. According to data from vesting analytics platform Token Unlocks, several cryptocurrencies are scheduled for token releases, and the leading pack is Xi's Xi Token, 
with a staggering $109 million worth of tokens unlocking. Following closely are Aptos's APT token at $85 million and Arbitrum's ARB token at $80 million. Other notable mentions include X's IMX token at $53 million, OP Mainnet's OP token at $61 million, and Sui's token at $58 million. Starknet's token and Athena's ENA token are also in the mix, with Unlux valued at $52 million and $37 million respectively. This cycle has been marked by low float, high FDB tokens, and therefore tokenomics design and Unlux schedule is critical for project success. When a big unlock meets weak buying power, the price impact won't look so good for a project's long-term success. Token unlocks occur frequently, and the upcoming ones come after Oracle Service Network Pyth unlocks $736 million worth of tokens, and their own blockchain network Avalanche released about $369 million into the circling supply last month. The two largest cryptocurrencies by market cap, Bitcoin and Ether, have slid about 4% in the past 7 days, however the tokens seeing unlocks in the next 30 days have dropped harder. Xi, the cryptocurrency with the largest unlock, is down 20% in the past week, while Stark has slid about 27% in the same period. Landrocker has just announced that LRT circulating supply is now officially verified on CoinMarketCap. Landrocker offers an infinite universe for discovery, space exploration, and combat in a free-to-play multiplayer game. Players embark on missions across 79 quintillion unique planets, each with distinct environments, ecosystems, and wildlife. They engage in battles against alien forces and gather rewards such as crypto tokens and crafting materials. The gameplay evolves with weekly updates, introducing new enemies, gear, and challenges. Each player's experience is shaped by their strategies, the assets they gather, and the choices they make, providing a continuously engaging play-to-earn environment. The Land Rocker ecosystem is powered by the LRT token, which serves multiple purposes within its game. Its utilities include purchasing in-game items, Players can use LRT to buy fuel, rovers, blueprints, and other essential items on the Landrocker marketplace. Check out Landrocker with the link down below. The Layer 2 blockchain ZK Sync has kicked off its highly anticipated airdrop of its ZK token, with 45% of its tokens already being claimed. The ZK Sync Association, a nonprofit created and launched last week by the development firm behind ZK Sync, Matter Labs, is in charge of the airdrop claims. The team tweeted that 45% of tokens were claimed by users in under two hours. The ZK token opened at 31 cents and is down about 35% since then, trading at 20 cents. The market cap stands at about $800 million based on the circling supply, with about 3.7 billion tokens eligible for distribution. On a fully diluted basis, the market cap would be $4.5 billion. Last week, the Matter Labs team shared how the ZK Sync Association plans to distribute the tokens. Some users were upset with the design of the airdrop, which led to the team acknowledging their unconventional design. According to their plans, 89% of the airdrop can be claimed by ZKSync users, which includes anyone that transacted on the ZKSync blockchain and met an unspecified threshold of activity. The remaining tokens go to ecosystem contributors, including ZKSync native projects at 5.8%, on-chain communities at 2.8%, and builders at 2.4%. Matter Labs also shared that employees will get 16.1% of ZK tokens, and investors 17.2%, which will be locked for a year and then released over three years. The rest of the token supply will be split and go to ZK Sync's token assembly at 29.3%, which will be used for new governance purposes, and the rest to ecosystem initiatives at 19.9%.